guys, I'm Melissa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having an awesome day so far. I'm about to have my lunch, which is piping hot soup that is like a thousand degrees. It's gonna take at least five minutes to cool. So I thought I would take this time to share with you something that is a huge key to success in weight loss. This is my number one tip. This is something that I recommend to everyone, regardless of how many pounds you want to lose, and also regardless of what method you're using. For me personally, I follow low calorie density. That's what works for me and enables me to not have to count calories, not have to worry about portion control, as you see. I have massive <laughs> portions of food and I just don't like to have to be hungry and I still want to be able to just maintain my weight, feel good, feel healthy and just eat as much as I need to eat in order to feel comfortably full. Alright, so my number one weight loss tip is to master your environment. This is something that I learned from Dr. John McDougall, Dr. Doug Lyle, Chef AJ, uh, three people who also eat the same way that I eat, starch-based, plant-based, whole food uh, diet, and I will put links to all of their YouTube channels in the description box. And I just think it's so much easier to create an environment at home that is filled with healthy food and that is conducive to you attaining your highest goals. So if your highest goal is to have a healthy body, to lose weight, to be in that healthy weight range for your height and to just feel fantastic and look your best, then why tempt yourself? Why put things in your home that are potential roadblocks to that success? And this doesn't mean that you have to eat completely bland, boring foods all day long. Just find alternatives. Find things that are super yummy that you enjoy. Like I shared with you in, my, uh, in a previous video that I like to make these smoothies that are almost like ice cream, that are frozen bananas mixed with vanilla extract or peppermint extract and cinnamon. You can even put a bit of stevia if you like it super, super sweet. You can mix frozen berries and it literally is just as satisfying as eating ice cream without having to feel like, oh no, I just derailed my health and weight loss goals. And another way that you can master your environment is being honest with the people that you live with. If you live with other people who are bringing in junk food into the home, maybe they're bringing in deep fried fast food, eating it in front of you and you smell, you know, these tempting smells that make you wanna indulge in those same foods, be honest with the people you live with and say, do you mind eating that at work? Do you mind you know, eating that before you come in the door or you know, keeping those foods out of the home? And explain, you know, I get really tempted by those things. I really want to achieve this specific goal and this is making it so much harder for me. I know that might sound selfish and maybe you, know, you feel bad about asking other people to make changes for you, but ask yourself, would you do the same for them? I believe that the people who love you most also want you to be happy and want you to achieve your goals. So I would just be honest and have an open conversation and say, look, you know, Oreos are my weakness. I know you like to eat Oreos, but when I'm sitting on the couch and you're eating them next to me, it's really hard for me to not reach into that bag and start eating them. And once I eat, I can't stop and I'm craving them nonstop for the next two weeks. If that's the case for you, then I really, really encourage you to be honest because the people around you are a big part of mastering your environment. Your environment is everywhere you go, your workplace. So if you need to ask people, you know, please don't offer me any more donuts when you bring them in the office. Just can you keep those in the in the staff kitchen and, and not, you know, come by my desk and ask me if I want donuts? Be honest. Just say, please don't ask me anymore. Or, you know, there are ways to go about it to just let the people around you know that this is important to you and to not put yourself in situations that are going to be overly tempting. So, you know, if you have the choice of going to a restaurant with your friend, choose one that has lots of healthy options so you're not tempted to to order something non-compliant from the menu and then regret it later and feel like you are now derailed. All right, I think my soup is almost at a temperature that's edible. I think I've said all I need to say about mastering your environment and it's just all about really being honest with yourself and setting the stage for success. You know, 
I, I think willpower gets too much credit. I think people put this extra added layer of pressure on themselves to say, you know, other people can sit in a room with everyone eating cupcakes and they don't reach for a cupcake, so I should be able to do that too. You know what, that's great if other people have willpower of steel, but I always say if you can make something easier for yourself, then do that. Take that easier path. Surround yourself in an environment that is conducive to you reaching those goals and being proud of yourself. Remember what Chef AJ says, if it's in your house, it's in your mouth. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think about mastering your environment and if you have any other feedback about that, if you have any other ways that people can master their environment, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy my filling soup and if you're wondering what I'm eating, uh, this is a couple scoops of uh, jasmine rice mixed in with a soup that I made yesterday that has a can of cannellini beans, a can of black beans, lots of carrots, celery, onion, lots of spice, I use a lot of spices, and some sea salt to make things even more flavorful. And um, it's lots of starchy goodness, so very filling. All right, see you next time, bye.